Welcome back. I had a request from Film and Tech for a giant octopus. I downloaded this cute mini octopus file from Printables by MacGyver. And DVR it had suggested a tricolor filament. So I ordered this one from Emollient on Amazon. It's the blue green orange in PLA. I've never used any of these tricolor filaments. I guess when I would scroll through, I thought it was the same as rainbow. Rainbow is a solid color that slowly changes to other colors, but this tricolor has all three colors completely through solid through the entire roll of filament. So you look at it from one way, it'll look one color and then it shifts to the other colors. I've never worked with this filament or this file before, so I start with just a 100% size on this file. At 0.32 speed profile, it will take just over an hour. And these are the speeds. So let's get this started. I'm really anxious to see how this turns out to have an articulated print. Um, I've done that on other printers and it's really neat to see how they move and function and if there's any stringing or other issues on the print. Okay, so this baby size is done. Let's see how it turned out. This filament is really cool. The underside looks really good. The first layer uh, doesn't seem like there was any adhesion issues. You can see the different color on the arms really throughout the entire print. It printed really cool. The print itself, I can tell um, with this, these spiral legs that I did have to kind of loosen them up a little bit. But overall, they move really well. Um, they, they look good. There's no stringing that's catching them. Um, I think this print turned out pretty good. There's a little bit of stringing at the very ends of the legs. The nose um, didn't print super good. Of course, I didn't catch that in the when I was slicing it, that that is, of course, going to be hanging out in the middle of air, which makes me glad that I did print a smaller version because I can easily add a support for that when I scale it up. I add this support underneath the nose, and then I'm able to scale it up over 400%. Then it still will fit on the bed. I keep the same settings and this print will take a little bit under 22 hours. Okay, let's get this started. Same filament as well. The print starts off pretty good. Good adhesion on everything. And then right about here the bed dips and of course that means that it's catching something and it, it is recovering. It does it a few times. The print still keeps going, but you can see along the very edges that those have started to lift up and shift and things are getting caught and of course this is not going to work out. It continues to get worse until the machine detects a crash and pauses it. I come in to check on it and see that it's not moving, so I immediately go to see what the screen says. Repeated collision has been detected. Do you want to pause or resume the print? Since so much has shifted, I decide that I'm going to have to go ahead and turn it off and try this again. This was after the Eiffel Tower spaghetti mess and I was just really hoping that that was just something with the Eiffel Tower print, but getting this crash detection didn't turn into spaghetti, but clearly it's not going to work. It's a little frustrating. It doesn't even get to the point that things are connected and that I could see how well the articulation is. Just things almost at a layer shift. It's a mess. Along the back you can see that there really was a lot that shifted and of course that's probably what it caught on finally. There's just quite a bit of filament for the nozzle to hit. I go back to slicer and scale it down slightly to 300%. I keep the same settings and this one will take a little over 10 hours to print. Part of the reason that I scale it down is I'm going to run out of filament. The 400% octopus is over 900 grams and I just don't have enough left. I'm also hoping this size will work. But you can already see along the back that some of the pieces have started to shift.
This one we catch before the crash detection and we just have to turn it off. It's not gonna work. It seems like it's having issues in a very similar area as the 400% one. Along that back little bit left corner, it just starts to shift and then it starts catching. You can see how much it lifts up there. I'm kind of surprised that the crash detection did not go off yet. So I'm trying to decide if I should scale it down to 200% or maybe I should change my layer height. I did revisit the printables file and saw that there is a straight-legged octopus, so perhaps that would be easier to print. I do want to keep trying it. I do want to get this, so let me know what you guys would try next. Thanks for watching.